Hello all, I'm very happy today, uh, for two reasons actually. Uh, the channel hit 100 subscribers today. And also, yesterday, I caught this lovely specimen of a cod, and he weighed £4.9. Um, you'll have to excuse his little white markings there, it's just because he's been in the fridge in a carrier bag. And if he wasn't in a carrier bag, the missus would have killed me. So, I'd like to show you how to fill them. Um, and this isn't me trying to say this is the best way to fill it. This is just the way I filleted them growing up. Um, and I also know it would be nice if I was a young young kid getting into fishing, wondering how to fill up these things, I could refer back to a video. So if this helps one person, I've done my job. Um, so, right, we have our cod. Here he is. So we're going to lay him down. We have our knife. A very important tool. If we haven't got a knife, I don't think we can fill it in. So I've also got my sharpener, which I don't know the make, but I do know, oh, SJ, don't know what that is. I do know I robbed it off my dad, and it's brilliant. So, make sure we're nice and sharp, because if anyone watched the one where I done the sole, it wasn't very sharp, and it wasn't very good. So, we're gonna start by doing what we always do, and that's cutting right down there. So, we'll cut right down, and there you can see, right the way in. And we get the knife and take it into the top. We go down, you can feel it hit the back of the bone. And then you go along all the way down, like so, until you feel like you can go all the way through. And we can just there, and that's the point there. All the way through. Come on to the end. Cut down. I've actually gone a little bit high on this one. Strip back all the meat round the rib cage. Go down. I'm going to show you something now which is a mistake of mine, which I've made. So, I'm just gonna cut that there, like that, right. So there's our lovely, lovely filler to cod. But, I've ruined it because I didn't bleed the fish. Now this was a match fish, um, so we caught him, and we couldn't bleed him because obviously it would lose weight, um, so we needed it. To stay at its optimum weight, but within doing that, he's bled into the meat. I don't know whether you can see that, so it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is, I suppose. So, go the same again, chop down. Another fillet, lovely fillet of cod. But as you can see, the blood coming out of him, and that is because I didn't bleed him. And you bleed them by cutting in there and cutting off the top. So he, oh, that's Axel, a better side to show that I didn't bleed him. Um, so put that in the bin. I always like to run down, make sure there's no bones. One there, I can see. Trim off the bad bits. To be fair, that one's perfect. No bones in that at all now. Got that 
there, this one. Trim along the bones. So I'm actually going to cut the stomach out of that as well. Let's get rid of that horrible bloody bit. There's that chest record. Lovely, no bones. There's another lovely fillet. There we go. Two lovely fillets. I'm now going to vacuum pack them. Uh, we'll give them a wash, vacuum pack them, and then go from there. Um, uh, like I say, don't claim to be an expert, far from an expert, but that's how I fill up the fish. I imagine there's other people out there who can fill up them a lot better than me, but unfortunately, they weren't here to do it for me. So, I'm going to just notice just a bit there. Bosh.